Bed poses are the most popular and often used poses in Buddha photography. When I start my session uh, with a client or a model, I always start from posing them on the bed because it feels more natural and it feels like at home environment when you're posing on the bed. If you don't have a bed, no worries, you can always use an air mattress, that's what I'm using in my studio. If you don't have an air mattress, you can always pose your model on the blanket on the floor. When I start posing, I always pose with a flow, starting from uh, simple poses to more dynamic, more difficult poses. I always add different angles, different frames. This way, from one single pose, I can achieve a variety of images. In this lesson, Hannah is going to help me to demonstrate to you my top 10 selling poses on the bed. So let's get started. Let's start from pose number one. This is a simple, more natural pose, laying on the belly, uh, facing the light. So let's, uh, Hannah is going to be laying on the bed, on her tummy. Okay. And this is an absolutely flat position, so we have to bring those curves and triangles out. And when we pose, we always go with the flow. We start posing first legs, then we're going uh, towards the upper body, posing arms, then we're posing feet and hands, and then we're checking on details such as position of hair or maybe um, some adjustments with lingerie. What I usually do, I start posing legs first and then I'm going up to the upper body, posing arms, then feet, hands, and then I check on the details. So now let's start posing legs. Uh, we are um, bending knee to create one triangle here um, and positioning foot on top of the leg. Yeah, just like that. And if you can Imagine like you're hugging your leg with your foot. So this way we are creating another triangle with her foot. So we have one triangle here, one triangle here. And do, by doing that, we are accentuating her hip line. And let's move uh, to the upper body to pose her arms. So to create this and accentuate this arch on her back, we need to lift her upper body. And to do that, we're gonna bend her arms, bend it. Keep in mind to keep arms on, not on the same level. So we're gonna extend one of the arms, the one is, yeah, that is further away from the camera. And from here, let's take a look and see how the pose looks. So I'm happy how the legs look like, how the arms are positioned, and we are going to move to pose her feet and her hands. We always point toes to elongate her leg and to make it look more elegant. Hannah, if you could please point your toes, yeah, just like that. And from there, we are checking on our model's hands. As we learned in the previous lesson, we always uh, keep our hands soft. And there is a technique of movements when we move hand, um, and let's say, uh, let's position Hannah one hand on top of another and start moving towards uh, the arm. Yes, and you will stop on your wrist and place it right there. So it feels more natural and relaxed with the movement. So when she stops, she relaxes her hands, so it feels more natural, it looks soft. So I'm happy with position of her hands. Her toes are pointy. Point your toes, Hannah, yeah, just like that. And our next step is to check on the details. We're gonna check on her hair and uh, her lingerie to check if everything looks good. So when it, uh, when it comes to hair, I always like to see messy and big hair. Um, so I fluff, my hair, I fluff my model's hair all the time. So we're gonna move this to the side. Yeah. It just adds a little bit of sensuality to the look we're going for. And let's adjust her lingerie. Details play a significant role when posing. And let me take a look. Oh, 
Overall, the pose looks good and for this specific pose, my point of view is going to be camera number two. And from here, our next step is uh, to work on facial expressions at frames and angles. So this way from one single shot, from sorry, from one single pose, you can achieve a variety of different images. So now let's go ahead and start photographing. Okay, and if you could just look straight at the camera, lift your booty a little bit more, just like that, beautiful. So I'm starting with a, a whole body shot and then I'm moving to medium shot and then I'll photograph just her face, a close-up shot. Now, if you can look away from the camera, just like that, perfect. I'm gonna do medium shot again and a close-up shot, perfect. Now, look at your shoulder and giggle for me, please. Yeah, that's beautiful, very good, and look back. From here, I'm just gonna move my angles to achieve a variety of different shots. So I'm gonna start from here. That's beautiful. Now look at the window. Perfect. And from here, I'm gonna move to a different angle. That's gorgeous. One more time. Look at the window. Look back at me. Give me a smile. Perfect. Just by walking around Hannah, I probably got about 10 additional images from one single pose. So now let's take a look at the raw images. Now we're gonna work on pose number two. And pose number two is the laying on the side pose uh, with the same placement of legs. What we're gonna do is to work on posing her arms mainly. Hannah, if you could lay down on your side. And do the same posing of the legs. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. So from here, we are starting posing her arms. Uh, we want to uh, lift her body a little bit to accentuate this curve. So bring that elbow a little bit closer to your body. Yes, just like that. We're lifting her body and we are creating a triangle by bending another uh, elbow and bringing it up to her hair. So yeah, just like common mistake that clients or models do, they bring this arm too close to the head. This way they're blocking face with the arm. So what do we have to keep in mind to uh, bring it a little bit away and frame, and I'm bring it more, yeah, like that to your hair and framing face in this triangle. So now we're gonna check on feet and hands. We're going to po uh, point our toes, yes, just like that and we will keep hands soft. So another common mistake that many people do is they uh, keep their hands, keep their um, uh, fingers separated, creating a shape of a claw like this. So we have to avoid that and uh, relax your hand. We can ask to wiggle hands and imagine that you're touching your hair. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And if that doesn't work, we can always move hand away from the camera to the side of her head. Just like that. Yes, perfect. Now let's take a look. The overall pose looks very good. So now we're going to move to facial expressions. Uh, we're going to work with the um, soft look with eyes closed and chin a little bit up. So let me go ahead and photograph that. Okay, that's perfect. Point your toes. Beautiful. Inhale. From here, Hannah, I want you to look at the camera. Just like that, perfect. And a look away just a little bit and bring the elbow in. 
more. Gorgeous. Point your toes. Perfect. I'm gonna change my angle. I'm gonna move around Hannah and do a full body shot, medium shot, and a close up shot. Now give me a smile. That's beautiful. And I'm gonna move to this side. Bring the elbow in and lower it down a little bit, just like that. Perfect. Now close your eyes, chin up. That's gorgeous. Point your toes. Very good. Perfect. Now we're done with pose number two. I got all my shots. Now let's take a look at the raw images. Pose number three is the laying on the back pose, but with a focus on the face. So let's uh, lay down on your back with your head somewhere here. Legs going towards the wall. Okay, perfect. Although the main focus of the shot is on her face, we still want to um, pose her legs and arms to bring out those curves and triangles. So we're starting from her legs. Um, bend both of your knees. Yes, just like that. Uh, we have to keep in mind that we need to keep uh, legs, uh, knees together. And we are moving, extending one of the legs, bringing it a little bit down, just like that. So by bending uh, legs, we're creating two triangles and we are adding some shape to our pose. Now we're gonna move to her upper body and pose her arms. So we, are, we want to create additional triangles and oh, we're gonna bend uh, this arm and bring it towards yeah, your face, perfect. And bend this one as well, yeah, just like that. And position it on your hip, yeah, that's perfect. So now we are checking on uh, feet and hands. We're gonna point your toes, beautiful. And her hands look naturally soft, uh, but I wanna re uh, bend this wrist, yeah, perfect. Just like this, yeah to add additional triangle to the pose. Another important element is to ask your model to arch her back. Perfect. So now we're gonna check for uh, details. Uh, hair, hair is a very important element of this shot. And what I usually do, I move hair around my subject, or in this case, I'm going to move it to the side and I'm gonna go for a creative shot where uh, one of her eyes is covered with her hair. And my angle for this shot is a little bit lower, but you can try other angles. And the point of view for this specific image is going to be camera two, which is 30, 40 degrees off to the side. So now let's go ahead and take the shot. Okay, I'm gonna move your hand a little bit. Let's do it. It works even better with uh, curly hair. Uh, this way we create those interesting shapes with the hair, with the curls. Uh, Hannah has straight hair, um, but we can still work with that. So I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and I'll go lower with the angle. Arch your back, perfect, point your toes. Keep your knees together and bring your chin up and towards the camera for me. And a little bit more so your eyes would be covered, blocked by your hair, right there. Okay. That's beautiful. One, two, three. Perfect. Beautiful. 
From here, I'm going to change my angles and I'm going to photograph uh, a do close up shots of Hannah's face. I'm going to reposition her hair a little bit. I'm going to fluff it. Yeah, make look more natural, uh, messier. And let's move me. Let, let's move your hair a tiny bit. Yeah, just like that. And bring it down. Perfect. Let's take a look. Uh, the pose looks good. This is our final pose. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the shot. Perfect. Look at the camera. Close your eyes. Beautiful. Look back at the camera. Give me a smile, arch your back, gorgeous, that's perfect. For this pose, I didn't change my position. I was photographing from one and the same angle. I was just moving down and up, uh, repositioning myself, getting different type of images. So I got approximately three or four additional images to the main shot that I was going for. So now let's take a look at the raw images. Now let's work on pose number four. Pose number four is very similar to pose number three. Hannah is gonna be laying down on her back, uh, but the difference is I'm going to change my angle. I'm gonna photograph her completely from above and I'm gonna reposition her arms. So let's go ahead and do that. And I want your legs to go that direction. Um, Position of your legs is the same. Put your head down. Okay. So for this pose, we're keeping her legs in the same position. Both of her legs are bent and one leg a little bit more extended than the other one, keeping knees together. Now let's work on her arms. We're gonna create those triangles again by bringing one arm up closer to her lip, perfect. And another one, we can also bring up, extend a little bit, yeah, away from her head. So this pose is mainly uh, focused on her face and facial expressions. So we are starting from uh, a soft look, facing straight to the camera, uh, then going to more flirty, uh, flirty looks, smiley faces. Uh, closed eyes, uh, eyes open, looking straight to the camera. Uh, let's check for details. The main element here is position of her hair. So make sure her hair is positioned nicely for this shot. Yeah, so just like this. And hands are soft and you can uh, tilt your legs a tiny bit to the side just like that so yeah let's I, I think this looks already good uh, let me uh, get on the apple box and see how it looks from above okay so we as we as you can see we created two triangles with uh, her arms and her hand is slightly touching her lip now uh, let's look at the camera beautiful just like that and close your eyes for a second perfect now give me a smile open your eyes flirty look more giggle perfect that looks beautiful all right now we're done with this shot We are done with our pose number four and let's take a look at the images.